good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the seventh session of the second convocation of National Assembly of Western Armenia, Lida Markosyan, Armenia Schools of the City of Van in Western Armenia, Cultural and Natural Heritage of Western Armenia, Mardin. Azerbaijan Special Services continue to spread false rumors on Facebook. A street named after Sergei Parajanov was opened in Tbilisi. The Armenians of Kharamort returned home, ignoring the shots of the Azerbaijanis. The official launch of Digital Julva Network will be announced during the Orient Summit in 2022. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. Lydia Markosian's speech at the seventh session of the second convocation of the National Assembly, we quote, First of all, I welcome all of you and the Speaker of the Republic of Western Armenian Parliament, Mrs. Harutsunyan, and express my gratitude for holding this session. Our ministry has done its job. Taking into account the events of the last few months, we have sent official letters to the United Nations, the MIS groups, and the chairman of numerous parliaments to remind them of the fundamental rights of the Armenian people. We want to remind you that it was thanks to the great work of Pogos Nubar in 2020 that 34 states recognized Armenian, current Western Armenia. However, the rights of recognized Western Armenia have not been confirmed. Read the full article on our official website. As in other regions of Western Armenia and Van until the beginning of 19th century, education was concentrated in monasteries and was intended for those who are preparing for monasteries and priesthood. In turn, the priesthood were educated in monasteries, taught only their children and a few other children reading in order to pass their priesthood from generation to generation. The first school in the city of Van was founded in 1820s in Kalkamech Quarter at the Vartan Church of the Initiative of the Rich Merchant Hagop Agagara Seferian, according to statistics prepared by the Patriarchate of Kostadnapol in 1834, there were three Armenian schools in the city of Van. Despite the fact that individual schools are not named in this list, it can be assumed that these are the schools of Church of St. Vartan in the city of Aigestan and the Church of Norashen. The city of Mardin is located in the southern eastern part of western Armenia. It is one of the ancient fortress cities of Mesopotamia. It was located between the city of Zeresia and Mazbin, the foundation of one of the most important settlements of many civilizations in history. The city of Mardin in western Armenia dates back to 4500 BC. Mardin at the age of 6500 years sits among the candidates of the UNESCO World Heritage List. Mardin was called the city of fortress and was one of the important settlements of many civilizations throughout its history, being one of the cities in the Armenian, Sumerian, Babylonian, Mitanni, Saburu, Persian and Ottoman dominations, Mardin is the most important city in terms of cultural diversity. The National Security Service of Republic of Artsakh being consistent to its implementation of the functions and powers assigned to its legislation in a field of information security, informs that the Azerbaijan Special Services in the Artsakh space on a Facebook social network continue to spread fake news on Armenian accounts and try to create an atmosphere of fear. This is stated in a statement of National Security Council. We take appropriate steps to prevent possible developments, we urge you not to follow the fake news and refrain from spreading suspicious news and discussing it on social networks. Follow on the official news. The message reads. Sergei Parajanov is considered one of the outstanding film directors of 20th century. The Armenian filmmaker was born and raised in Tbilisi in the family of Hovse Parajanov and Tsiran Bijanova. Sergei Parajanov's work mainly reflects the ethnic diversity of the Caucasus. Sergei Parajanov's streets has opened in the Madatsmida district of Tbilisi. The opening of the street was attended by members of Tbilisi City Council, representatives of the art sector, friends and relatives. The street of the famous film director Sergei Parajanov was opened. Parajanov contributed to our culture and cinema is invaluable, said Nino Vartonazidze, chairman of Tbilisi Commission on Names and Symbols of Sakrebulo. In the village of Khramort in the Askian region of Artsakh, life is gradually returning to normal. Khramort was part of Khachem province of the Artsakh province of Greater Armenia. In 2022, Azerbaijan armed groups managed to capture part of Karagruh here, adjacent to Khramort and Paru, which is of strategic importance both for the security of these villages and the entire district. Now people have returned to normal life again, but under direct enemy fire. Locals assure they are not afraid of war. Everyone passed that Armenia stayed there. 
During the Orient Summit 2022 Technology Summit, the official launch of Digital Juha Network will be announced as an all-Armenian intellectual, technological, trade and culture initiative uniting strengths. The panel discussion will also present the cultural significance of the Digital Network of Juha and the summit will end with a reception. The exhibition of works of contemporary art will also be held during the summit. Orient Summit 2022 will be held on June 22nd in Yerevan, Martin Adaran. It will be attended by world famous founders, investors, consultants and specialists in a field of technology, finance, business, etc. Western Armenia highly appreciates any initiative that will improve the lives of Armenians living in the indigenous territories of Western Armenia. Dear compatriots, devotees concerned about the fate of Western Armenia, in this period of great geopolitical events today, more than ever we need unity, assistance and closer contact with each other. Today there are few structures that truly contribute to the unification of our nation and unity in the struggle of their rights and demands. Western Armenia TV is one of those exceptional platforms where we call all communicate, get to know each other and be informed about various events taking place in and around our historical homeland. Your support will contribute to the further expansion of the information field, as well as to fight more clearly and confidently for the protection and restoration of the violated rights of our grandfathers. Let's fight together for the sake of restoring justice. Together we can do more. Now musical part Armenian folk song. Dashkina govtsats kvats lerner menken karot menken karot tanaga harvats yergir mer menken karot menken karot dashinkner agavagel menken karot menken karot dashnamur zerkistak gorel senken karot senken karot Ner dash na gut yan men ken karot The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.